As you all know the CentOS Linux is no more supported by the Red Hat. In 2014 after acquiring CentOS by Red Hat, they promised to maintain the CentOS project as it is. But on December 8, 2020, Red Hat broke its promise and made CentOS Linux as Stream, the RHEL beta test platform. CentOS was the best free alternative distribution to Red Hat Enterprise Linux in the world. It was built from RHEL source code removing Red Hat's proprietary branding and their commercial support by the CentOS community. After Red Hat making CentOS stream the CentOS co-founder Greg Kurtzer issued the following press statement. I was just as shocked as the rest of the community with the news from Red Hat. When I started CentOS 16 years ago, I never imagined the incredible reach and impact it would have around the world on individuals and companies who rely on CentOS for Linux distribution. In response to this unexpected shift, I am proud to announce the launch of a new project, Rocky Linux, in honor of my late CentOS co-founder Rocky McGow. I've started calling on participation from the global community and quickly assembling a team to further our founding commitment of ensuring seamless continuity of business operations for companies running CentOS 8 far beyond 2021. In just one day, we've seen an overwhelming response from thousands of supporters eager to join the project. He launched the new Linux project based on RHEL 8 source code on March 30, 2021. And it was named Rocky Linux, in honor of late CentOS co-founder Rocky McGow. After few release candidates, the RESF, Rocky Enterprise Software Foundation, has announced the first stable release Rocky Linux 8.4, Green Obsidian, on June 21, 2021, within a very short period of the announcement of the Rocky Linux project. As per the 9T05LINUX, Rocky Linux 8.4 introduced new upstream modules, MariaDB 10.5, OpenSCA 1.3.4, PostgreSQL 13, Python 3.9, Redis 6, SCAP Security Guide 0.1.54, Subversion 1.14, and Swig 4.0, as well as an updated toolchain consisting of GCC 10, LLVM 11.0.0, Rust 1.49, and Go 1.15.7. There are also major changes around security, networking, identity management, clustering, kernel, etc. Among these, there's support for TCP encapsulation and security labels for the IKF2 protocol for the IPSC VPN provided by LibreSwan, integrity checking support for the Fapolicide framework, and full support for the NM State Network API for hosts. This release also adds support for the MPLS, multi-protocol label switching, and kernel data forwarding mechanism used for routing traffic flow across enterprise networks. On top of that, Rocky Linux 8.4 introduces three new traffic control actions for the iProute 2 utility, including Mac underscore push, pop underscore eth, and push underscore eth for adding MPLS labels. Other interesting changes include support for Ansible modules that can be used for automated management of role-based access control RBAC, and Identity Management IDM, a persistent pacemaker resource agent for maintaining the state data, speeding up cluster response time for services with a high state overhead, detecting failures asynchronously and injecting them into pacemaker. Under the hood, Rocky Linux's kernel was patched to support the error detection and correction EDAC kernel module for 8th and 9th generation Intel Core processors, proactive compaction, a new implementation of the slab memory controller for the control groups, and the time namespace feature. Although the Rocky Linux 8.4 stable was released, one of the notable features that are not available yet is the support for secure boot, which the RESF describes as a non-trivial process to get going on a new distribution. We know many of you depend on Secure Boot. It is a non-trivial process to get Secure Boot for a new OS. This process is underway and the shim review process should begin very soon. Rocky Linux 8.4 will initially be released without Secure Boot support enabled. However, once the proper packages have been built and signed, a second set of ISOs will be released for the Rocky Linux 8.4 with Secure Boot support. Unless you're waiting for Secure Boot to be rolled into Rocky Linux, you now have no reason to hesitate. Download and deploy this one-to-one -one binary replacement for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, so you can avoid the stream. We shall meet in the next video on installing Rocky Linux 8.4. Thank you.